we have today a new topic from the lesson ideas of development the topic is income and other goals obviously people's development is uh, related to income everyone is aiming to get a uh, better wages more number of days of work good price for their crops such kind of so everyone is aiming to get a uh, better income and good income but not only income other goals has to be fulfilled then only we will develop what are the other goals if we observe for our quality life equality is required freedom is required security respect these are also required for our development besides income how means a landless labor is aiming besides income equality he should be treated equally along with other people in the society he would like to become a leader along with other people equally next freedom how one urban rich girl is aiming to get a freedom like her brother next security we have discussed in the kudankulam nuclear power plant people are thinking about their safety and security with safety and security only there is a development education is the major weapons for women's development and particularly after education they will get some jobs they get some paid work at that time their family income levels will increase the dignity of that family will increase but this is only one side we are thinking about the development another side other goals are also required in society that is safety and security safety and security when we provide to the women in the society then women's development is possible like this not only income along with income we have other goals like equality freedom security and respect how can we compare the country's development which country is developed which is undeveloped for that purpose income is the major criteria but which income national income or per capita income national income is nothing but better total income of the country when it is divided by its population we get the per capita income and which country's per capita income is more that country is developed which country's per capita income individual persons income per annum is less means that is undeveloped so based on this per capita as taken criteria world bank in 2012 prepared one report called world development report it given instructions that which country's per capita is about 12600 us dollars which country's per capita is about 12600 dollars that is treated as a developed country in 2012 such countries like usa uk switzerland they treated as a developed countries because their per capita is about 12600 us dollars at that time and next which country's per capita income is below 1035 dollars below 1035 dollars they were treated as undeveloped countries most of the african countries got less than 1035 dollars per annum as their per capita they were treated undeveloped but india was not listed in the developed countries was not listed in the undeveloped countries because at the time our country's per capita is in between 1035 to 12600 us dollars that's why such kind of countries which are having per capita between 1035 dollars to 12600 dollars that countries are known as a developing country so india is the example india's neighboring countries also example for developing countries their income is not about 12600 dollars per annum and their per capita is not below 1035 dollars so india is a developing country like this world development report uh, divided the countries into developed undeveloped and developing countries by the world bank in 2012 we have to understand that per capita is not exact income of the people per capita is the average income when we calculate from the national income with the population it is not showing the exact in one country some people may earn more some people may earn less than that so how can we take this average for the measurement of development 
for better understanding about the problems in a per capita as we take the criteria for development we have given a table in textbook uh, that uh, a country and b country is given in a country first person is earning 9500 second person is earning 10500 third person is earning 9800 fourth person is earning 10000 fifth person is earning 10200 like this five persons are averagely earning 10000 but a second country b if you observe first person second third fourth almost every person is earning 500 just 500 their per income and uh, fifth person is earning 48000 48000 most of the people are earning less incomes just few persons are earning more income means uh, there is income inequalities when we get the per capita from this uh, means uh, national income by population 5 you will get 10000 here also national income by five people you will get 10000 both per capita is showing 10000 National income is fifty thousand. When you divide it by five people, it will get ten thousand. Means each individual person in A and B country is earning averagely ten thousand. But this calculation is wrong. Actually, in B country, most of the people are earning less incomes, just five hundred. Only one person is earning forty-eight thousand. High rich person. So how can we treat uh, this country sir uh, per capita for development purpose? So simply in this analysis. we understood that per capita measurement only if we take for development it is not correct because poor people's problems we may not understand in development aspects along with the per capita we have to take other criteria for our development means for measuring development if you take literacy rate is very important one whether the people are getting better education or not by understanding literacy rate which country is developed which country is not we can understand literacy rate is expressed in percentages the people who are above age 7 okay they are able to read write speak means they are called literates like that literacy rate of that country if you observe whether they are that people are developed or not we can understand and other criteria besides education if you take a uh, imr infant mortality rate means uh, health facilities infant mortality rate is nothing but better per 1000 live births how many children are dying based on the hospital facilities okay in which country more number of children are dying per 1000 live births that country is undeveloped in which country less number of children are dying they have good health facilities they are developed like this based on educational facilities based on health facilities and net attendance rate also one more criteria like this we can measure the development with other criteria along with per capita income that we will learn in the next class